Members of the Islamic movement in Nigeria stormed the headquarters of the National Human Rights Commission in Abuja, calling for its national attention on the plight of their leader, Ibrahim El Zagzaki. The group is using the commemoration of the International Human Rights Day to intensify a campaign for the release of the leader. Correspondent Basil Okafo reports. Human Rights Day is celebrated annually across the world on December 10 every year. Members of the Islamic movement in Nigeria are using the international occasion to protest alleged extrajudicial killings of the Zazaki's followers. They stormed the headquarters of the National Human Rights Commission in Abuja with copies of letters demanding prosecution of the alleged killers. This issue of Sheikh Ibrahim Zazaki is beyond Human Rights Commission because they are still operating under the government. And this is the government that, that collected contract at, as I say, and they are yet to respond to these things I'm saying. Yes, yeah, since we believe the sole aim is to protect the welfare of the citizens and to fight against human rights, then we are here for them to fight for us to facilitate the immediate and unconditional release of our leader. That's why we are here. Official of the Rights Commission, however, received the letters from the protesters assuring of prompt action against the alleged rights violation. But speaking on the alleged brutality against the Zazaki followers, the executive secretary of the National Human Rights Commission suggested dialogue between the group and the Nigerian authorities to end the agitation. We think again that the solution is dialogue. There has to be dialogue with members of the Islamic movement in Nigeria, the Shites, and the commission has been spearheading this dialogue to see whether all these issues can be resolved amicably. I think the law enforcement agencies in Nigeria should also desist from using uh, disproportionate force to deal with uh, civilians who are peacefully demonstrating. Protests such as this has become a daily occurrence in Abuja where the Shiites have vowed to continue to occupy streets until their leader is released from DSS custody. Basil Okafo, Core TV News, Abuja.